Go. Okay. What to do about the Muslim terrorists that Obama is trying to infiltrate America with? No doubt in my mind, there is strong evidence that he is Muslim. And the first thing he did was declare that America is no longer Christian. Well, what else is a Muslim going to do? First Muslim president we've ever had. Um, half of America is too blind to see it because he comes under the declaration of a liberal. Well, if you go look, all those guys are liberal. Okay, what to do? Number one, we, uh, the people of Indiana, need to refile suit against the ACLU. I want to say that again. The people of Indiana need to refile suit against the ACLU who has filed a lawsuit against Indiana. File a lawsuit for interfering with religious freedom. It is our religious freedom to reject people uh, from the midst of us who's trying to destroy us. Um, the Muslims are not they are not a peaceful nation. You can look at any other country in the world that they're in, even this one. They blew up our Twin Towers. Um, and they're against everything that our godly constitution is about. Um, okay, now our political correct system, which is allowing them to do that, I want to talk about that today. Our political correct system is just a, it's, it's the enemy's tactic, the enemy being the devil, um, and all those who are led by him, and that is everyone outside of the um, umbrella of the Spirit of God, everyone, even those who call themselves Christian but can't hear the Spirit of God, they're still being led. That's why we have liberal Christians today. Uh, such a thing should not be, but it is. Okay, and this is this is what I'm saying. We need to file suit against the ACLU for interfering with religious freedom. Because it is our right. It is our, and, and you'll have to have some lawyers come up with an angle. There's There's got to be a, hundreds of angles. We don't need just one lawsuit. We need thousands of lawsuits. Even individuals that come against uh, the ACLU so that the ACLU will um, be so busy trying to defend itself it can't interfere with what our governor is trying to do to protect our religious freedoms. Um, tie up the courts, man, tie them up so they can't, you know, individual lawsuits. I'm thinking about going and filing one myself. I'm going to call up my lawyer and see what I can do personally about filing a suit against the ACLU here in the state of Indiana. And this political correct system is a tactics of fear. It's just a tactic of fear that the enemy has sought to keep the Christian under control. Listen, we need to take back the reins of this political correct system. Christians need to stand up. I was praying today and I said, Lord, what can we do that's not a, that, that is certainly less than attacking people in war. And the Lord says, file suit against the ACLU. File suit, individual suits. Many of them. The more, the more you, we file, the more it's going to be uh, protective. There are thousands of angles you can go with this. We need to take every angle. Every angle. It's, it doesn't take a very intelligent man to sit down and think of, of some different way that you can file a, a suit against them for interfering with religious freedom. Okay, and and it doesn't really have to be, it can be civil suit. It doesn't really have to be in a legal sense. Okay, now now the judge will hear it more if it is in a legal sense or something that is pertaining to our Constitution in that way, but if not, then file suit in a civil, and you can fill, you can file under civil suit for anything, man. I mean, you know, they these people are ugly, and and they think I'm ugly, and they're they're offensive to me, and just anything, you know. Okay, but this is what I'm going to read you in the, in the Bible here, how fear works, and how keeps how it keeps people under control. 
literally it's a godly fear that keeps our people under the Christian under control and it is the devil that came along and tried to use this same fear against us to control us to adhere to his agenda rather than God's okay now the story of, uh, of David and Goliath is where I want to bring this out okay and I want to read about three verses of it to you actually six verses and seven and I want to tell you and and then I want to tell you just the rest of the story how this began the Philistines gathered their armies to battle uh, together at Sukkoth and this place and they were on one side of the Isle and uh, and Israel was on the other of the valley you know they was the one was on one hill one on the other and I think this might be the same valley that the Battle of Armageddon is going to take place in somewhere in that area it's it's really close to the same area okay so and uh, and here come this champion out of the Philistines camp named Goliath and this is what the Bible said and there went out a champion of the out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath whose height was six cubits and a spawn that's about nine feet nine inches tall the enemy always looks more overbearing than he really is. One little fellow from God took him down. When we fight, the battle's over. We just have to step out and begin to fight. The battle is over. All you have to do is just begin. You, you go out on the field, all of a sudden the fear changes from one side to the other. Your fear leaves and the enemy's fear begins. Listen to this. Verse 5. And he had a helmet of brass upon his head, and he had, and he was armed with a mail, with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was five uh, thousand shekels of brass. And um, he had uh, greaves of brass upon his legs, and uh, a target of brass between his shoulders, and the staff of his spear was like the weaver's beam. And his spearhead weighed 600 shekels of iron, and one bearing the shield went before him. Listen, the enemy always has more, he's, he always looks worse than he is. His game is fear. The devil controls the Christians with a, with a wrong kind of fear. Uh, this political correct system he has... Uh, objective on uh, on America he has controlled the Christian with it for a hundred years or better from the very beginning of the signing of a constitution the devil began to put this political system of fear in place this political correct system of fear watch verse 8 and he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel and said to them why are you come out to set your battle array I not a Philistine and you servants of Saul that's uh, who was the king the first king of Israel choose you a man for you let him come down to me if he be able to fight with me and kill me then we will be your servants if I prevail against him and kill him then he's you shall be our servants and serve us now this is always the choice today this is the choice it, we fear to step out because if we lose the battle, we'll be servants to them. We're already servants to them by being afraid. Stop being afraid. Step out onto the field of battle. Get up. Go file those lawsuits. Indiana, I am, I am challenging you to file lawsuits against the ACLU today. I want thousands of them. Thousands of them. The Lord wants thousands of them filed against. And drag them into court. And beat them like a... Like the Hulk beat, beat that Loki God, that Loki false God on, uh, on that movie, okay? He says, I defy the armies of Israel. Give me a man that we may fight together. Now listen to this part. Here it is right here. And when Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Greatly afraid. There it is. And that's what is that's what's up today. The devil doesn't he never changes his tactics. He never changes his tactics. We all know what happened when little David 
when a man filled with the Spirit of God walked out on that field and challenged this monster looking creature the battle didn't last very long they all thought it wasn't going to last very long but none of them figured it would go in the way that it went and this is what's going to happen when we stand up and file suit against the ACLU we got to let them know what we think about what they're doing the ACLU Indiana is such a godly place the ACLU should not even be here in Indiana that should not have an organization here and it went on like this the story went that David who was only supposed to come there to feed the servant listen God's champion most often is always taken not from the most important people you think you're not important enough to file suit <laughs> yes you are they didn't think David was the champion that day but David was the champion the least of gods is better than the worst of the devils are you hearing what I'm saying today the least of gods is better than the worst of the devils you know what there is a hundred million Christians in this nation that if they stood up they could show these political correct idiots what a, a godly nation is really all about again there is that many that is dedicated to the purpose of serving God but they're standing on the side of the bank afraid to move because because this political correct giant has run his mouth called the ACLU we have to do something we have to do something listen war is not the answer war is not the answer a spiritual battle the book of Ephesians tells us that our battle is of the spirit world our battle is not in the flesh our battles in the spirit our battles with words the prophet Stephen walked out on that field he began to wager battle in a battle that's that was short fought by him but was taken up by another who was called Saul when he picked up that coat again he didn't know it but he was taking upon him to fight this very same battle of whom he had just killed and God will do the same with us and he'll do the same with you and he'll make you great in the eyes of the world listen if we would just stand up if we would just go and file suit against the ACLU if we will begin to wager this battle in the spirit get on our knees listen God knows how to change the heart of a judge he knows how to change the heart of a judge he knows how to change the opinions of people he can do that overnight just like that when Elijah stood up when he went out there and slayed those prophets of Baal all of a sudden all the people they were on God's side again <laughs> Amen. all of them those very ones who was in the valley decision who would have followed either Baal or they would have followed God didn't matter to them they just want to know who's in power hey who, who wants to lead us today <laughs> you know listen stop being a fl blind follower of the blind Follow somebody who knows the way, who is the Lord Jesus Christ. Follow him today. Follow the Lord Jesus Christ today. He is the truth. He is the light of the world. He is the way. He is the life. There is no life outside of him. And he knows what he's doing in this battle. Amen. All right, God bless you. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you again next time. Another great message. By the way, David overwhelmingly... For those of you who don't know this story, David took a little sling and used what God had put in his hand and had trained him with, and he took that giant out. He took him out, just like we will take out the ACLU. If we stand together, there's millions of us. Let's do it. In Jesus' name, amen.